Hi guys, it's Franco. So, looks like the market's going back up and it's going to back up more next week. And I'm glad because I held strong. I bow my head and never sold any of my stocks because I believe in them. All right. And then look at this chart. I'm going back up. It was red before a week ago or two. And I added some positions, call positions. Now, everything that I'm teaching you is is from my experience so take it in a grain of salt and do your own due, due diligence <clears throat> so not every call like this you can see here are profitable for me i made some mistakes but i'm holding long because my expiration date is not near you can see that i added a fuel cell call option for 18 bucks and I'm losing $37 or 16%. But look at this. I added VIAC at 81 bucks, And I am gaining. Looks like I'm going to sell this today for a profit of $200. And that's all right. And look at this. A Neo for 45 bucks, But my... Expiration date is March 26. Do you think I can I can reach that? I think so too. I'm gonna make a profit and if you follow really follow me I Started with no almost no cash this the calls that you're seeing and or the puts that you're seeing are my way To earn some cash because I don't want to add more money or cash into this account and I want to grow like this so I'm making ways and also I lose but I I held strong really guys and then I also bought uh, really value stocks like Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, 3M, Waste Management. Wow, this is 120 bucks. It's been a while since I saw that. And Starbucks. Those are value stocks that you should hold for a long time up until you're ready to cash out because they're not going to go away anytime soon. And obviously, I got crypto and my one Microsoft and some REITs. Obviously, the more volatile growth stocks, and some of them are even called the penny stock, uh, well, they dip. I mean, I'm holding long, like I said, I don't need this money. But I, I better <laughs> make some money while I'm down, right? So let's do this. I'll I'll sell this. Maybe sell that. Uh, maybe I changed my mind. Uh, hmm, maybe later. I'll show you my my Robinhood account and my Fidelity too. They're going back up. I'm still on a $100,000 scale on my Fidelity and my Wii, my Robinhood. I really hate Robinhood. So, let's see. So, this is my Robinhood account. I, as you can see, I almost have nothing here. I really hate this GUI or UI. Uh, it, you have to pay for uh, UI like Webull. But it doesn't matter. I started with Robinhood and I transferred everything because I just I just can't handle it. You can see this. So I got the four dollar dollar call for cents and it's losing really money and fast. I think I'll I'll sell that. I I'll take the loss. And everything is red aside from VIAC. I mean this stock, this stock is phenomenal even on a red day it's still going up i mean look at that chart and i highly suggest you do your research on this because <laughs> it's it's really going up and they're a television company so if you know cvs uh, that's them so a lot of people are buying into this company at the moment and I also have calls from Webull that's making money right now. So if you guys want to do that as well, do it. The only thing I, I can't possibly tell you is 
call options are very risky. If, if you're not willing to lose money, don't do it. Just buy the actual stock and please just buy the actual stock. All right. It's going down. I should have sell, sold earlier my call options. Uh, anyway, it's all right. I still made money. All right. So this is my Robinhood account, which is red. Let's go to my fidelity and hope you guys learned from this. I mean, I'm holding, look at this, all reds, but I'm holding because I believe in a company that I buy. I don't just buy because of hype, but I did made some money in GME though. I'm not going to tell you how much, but I didn't make a good amount in comparison to my small accounts already. Let's just go to my fidelity. Hey guys, it's Franco again. It's this is my fidelity account. Like I told you, I'm gonna show you. I'm still on the hundred K amount with twenty-four almost twenty-five grand as my total gain. And <laughs> IGT is one of my top and I'm very surprised with this. And then obviously in the energy sector, hell. I have a video of this talking about why I bought this. So if you want to look and search in my actual YouTube channel, you can do so because I'm not going to explain it in this video. Obviously, uh, Tesla is one of my biggest holdings here. It's only like 25 pieces or positions and I'm still up even though you know what's happening with Tesla. This is not really their all time high. This is one of their lows. I am holding long. Like I always say, if you believe in the company, you hold long. You hold long. I am not a day trader and I'm not trying to be because it's, it's hard. Their life is hard. I have my military life, my engineering job, this side gig, YouTube. <laughs> I cannot add more stress in my life. And obviously I got school stuff from my MBA. Uh, as you know, for those who are subscribed in my channel. And if you really like my videos, please subscribe, like, comment. I really like the interaction from you guys. If you kindly uh, want me to show you something else, uh, ask me. If I'm able to do so, I'll do it. It's just at the moment I'm lessening my videos because I got some personal issues going on in my life and uh but i hope uh this little tiny bits of videos are helping you to to have an idea of how to invest and to start your life or make your retirement a little bit better all right uh like i said i got green 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 i'm gonna show you the reds because i have reds here there you go the volatile and sometimes overseas companies are really hurting uh, like guilt it's from Israel and CBS is hurting too uh, CBS Amazon I got one stock I bought this out of uh, well I just want to have of Amazon stock I'm holding long anyway so yeah, so all this at the bottom are volatile and sometimes considered a penny stock like ZOM. But I don't care. I I like uh I like the company. I believe in the company so I don't sell. I don't get me wrong. I sell sometimes for a loss, but I try to go to another company and buy the proceeds of that buy another value more valuable company that i believe in and then hold long just like viac right here i have only have three and i'm gaining 4.75 4 percent all right so like i said guys i need your interaction and if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel help me as i you you're looking at my basically my main account here <laughs> uh, I'm not lying to you this is raw raw footage I just don't have time to edit because I'm gonna get crazy if I if 
I make time for it, I uh, a lot of personal things going on in my life, and I, that's why I don't want you to see my face because I'm really, really like stressed out. Uh, and then in terms of the topic, buy some grow the um, value stocks, especially dividend stocks. I got REITs everywhere. I got Apple as well. Um, I don't know where's my Apple. Here, 65 pieces of it. I bought I bought Apple before the split, so I got I got really lucky. I did my research, my due diligence, and obviously I follow uh, Warren Buffett's um, portfolio, and uh, I'm starting to follow Katie Woods. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, guys, good luck to you guys. All right, and this is Franco signing out.